I am Satish Reddy, trainer of Tally ERP9. I have 8 years of experience in Tally ERP9 training. So, today now I am given the demo about Tally ERP9 course. Tally is a one type of accounting software or it is a financial software. This software is especially used for preparation of required business accounting reports. In this market, different type of business companies is there like traded business companies, manufacturing business companies, service organizations. These all these companies nowadays you can maintain computerized accounting reports, not maintain that manual accounting reports. Each and every company, small organization to big MNC company have to prepare computerized accounting reports. So any company to maintain that accounting reports in the computer, that company can using any one of the accounting software like Tally, Focus, Wings, Tata EX Next Generation, DKC, PH3, MIOB, QuickBooks, some other companies using SAP, FICO, Arkill Finance, etc. But in 90% domestic companies using Tally ERP9 in India, why? In manual accounting system, rules and regulations and tally ERP-9 rules and regulations similar to same and as well as Indian tax consultants and authorized chartered accountants all are using tally software for written filing of the accounts. That is the reason this tally course is essential for each and every commerce students today. So that is the reason government also is implemented that tally course in BCom level and BBA, some other courses also. So what is the advantages is there in the tally software? Means mainly tally is used to prepare computerized accounting reports. Tally is developed in 1986 by Piotronic Private Limited Company. Now the tally operations is maintained by Tally Solutions Private Limited from Bangalore. In this tally software, different versions is there. Not only tally, each and every software is having the different versions. You have to change any updations, you added that new advantages in the software, automatically you can change the version name. So right now, we have to give in the training on Tally ERP 9 release 5.3.8 version. It is released on June 38, 2016. This Tally ERP 9 mainly Four integrated modules is there. One is accounting. Next one is inventory, taxation, payroll. These four are the integrated module in Tally ERP9. Accounting used for preparation of all accounting reports. Like in financial accounting system, what are the syllabus is there? the type of all the contents we have to cover in the accounting like general entries to balance sheet, ledgers, cash book, bank book, subsidiary books, trading, profit and loss account, balance sheet, etc. Then inventory. Inventory is related for the stock reports. How do you can prepare that opening stock, closing stock, purchase orders, sales orders, go down wise reports, manufacturing dates, expiry dates. These are all we can cover in the inventory module. The next taxation. Taxation is very important. Taxes are mainly divided into direct taxes and indirect taxes. What is direct tax and what is indirect tax? Direct taxes means which taxes are charged on income and property is known as direct tax. Which taxes are charged on commodities and services is known as indirect taxes. We can give in the training on all tally provided taxes like VAT value added tax. Nowadays you are buy or sell any type of product you are paying that VAT. 90% of the products are having the VAT. In that VAT different groups is there. VAT 1%, VAT 5%, VAT 14.5% and other special rates also is there. Then how do we can prepare the VAT? in the tally software, how do you can return filing, what are the forms you are using, example VAT 200 etc. we can cover. The next one is service tax. Service tax is the one type of indirect tax, 
service organizations any organization you can provide taxable services like communications advertising commercial training institutions those organizations are collected the tax from the students and customers you can pay to the government right now service tax is including swachh bharat ses and kkr 15% is there how do you can calculate the service tax how do you can prepare the written filing of service tax we can give in the training for you the next one is cst central sales tax you are buying and selling the goods within the state you are paying vat only other than states you are buy that goods from example in maharashtra you are selling in telangana hyderabad that type of organizations are paying cst cst stands for central sales tax then you can pay to the central government next tds tax deducted source tds is a one type of direct tax tds means indirectly collecting that income tax then next excise duty manufacturing organizations are paying excise duty <coughs> next tcs only few organizations are providing tcs only eight categories of businesses is there like liquor business granite business sand business forest business timber business this type of companies are paying tcs so these are all taxes we can given the training for you in the tally erp 9 course another one is payroll payroll is used for preparation of monthly employee pay sheet and pay slips in one organizations 100 members 1000 members are working every month those people are getting that salaries how do you can prepare that salaries statements like ta da hra calculations pf deductions csi deductions and ultimately you can calculate gross salary of the employee and net salary of the employee these are all things we can cover in the payroll these four modules we can cover in the tally erp 9 course then how do you can prepare that accounting reports in the tally software now you know what is tally erp 9 means tally is a one type of accounting software the software is used to store and maintain day to day transactions like purchase of goods sale of goods cash deposit to bank etc and prepare final accounts like trading profit and loss account balance sheet cash book day book etc so how to prepare that accounting reports in the tally software mainly three steps is there first you have to identify the transactions then creation of ledgers creation of ledgers next step is selection of groups next prepare voucher entries then after if you want any report system is automatically provided you can do this three steps example salaries paid by cash or salaries paid to staff by cash rupees 1 lakh how to create in the tally software you can apply three steps first you have to create the ledgers what is the entry in manual accounting system salaries account data to cash account so here salary is a one ledger salaries the next one is cash each and every ledger is having one group in manual accounting system also is having the mainly four groups is there one is assets next one is liabilities expenses incomes assets is again divided into two types current assets fixed assets liabilities also is two types one is short term liabilities next one is long term liabilities expenses is two types direct expenses indirect expenses incomes also is two types direct income indirect income become students you know <coughs> these manual groups these groups are divided in tally software 28 groups is there 
these 28 groups are predefinedly provided tari software in creation of ledger accounts you can select default 28 groups which related ledger related group example salaries is there salaries is a expenses which one indirect expenses it is concerned you can select indirect expenses next one is cash in the manually cash is a current asset but in the tari software separate group is there in the cash purpose that group name is called cash in hand then third step is voucher entry is nothing is called as general entry salaries account data or to cash account is it you can enter these three steps then after if you want any report automatically it should be provided in creation of ledger accounts only one dialog box is there in the ledger creation in the tally software the name is given the name place you can write salaries under under means group under place you can select the group whenever cursor is point of view this side 28 groups is displayed you can select your ledger related group salaries group is indirect expenses just you can press i in your keyboard system is highlighted high started groups you can select indirect expenses press enter enter then automatically it will be saved it whenever you can save that one ledger then you can create that another ledger cash cash in hand purchases purchase account sales sales account like this you can create your transaction ledgers all the ledgers then after you can record or create voucher entry or journal entry in creation of transaction entries in the tally software not only one voucher different type of vouchers is there like contra voucher payment voucher journal voucher purchase voucher sales voucher credit note debit note etc not only this accounting voucher some other vouchers also is there inventory vouchers order vouchers also so first of all in the accounting voucher these vouchers is used for creation of transaction entries so which entry is created in which type of voucher you know the transaction related voucher you can select and you can pause that entry so contra voucher is there contra voucher is used for only two type of transactions contra transactions like cash deposited into bank and cash withdraw from the bank for office use only whenever these two transactions done in your business these transactions entries are recorded in contra voucher payment voucher is there payment voucher is used for creation of all the payment transactions cash is goes outside the business either cash or checks that type of transaction entries are created in payment voucher example salaries paid to staff by cash rent paid by cash electricity bill paid by cash etc the next one is receipt voucher receipt voucher is used for creation of receipt transactions like example cash received from the customers interest received discount received this type of transaction entries are created in receipt voucher the next one is journal voucher general is a adjustment voucher adjustment entries are created in general voucher in bcom level trial balance is given under trial balance adjustments is given like uh, closing stock depreciation on assets provisions for bad debts outstanding salaries prepaid expenses etc this type of adjustment entries are created in journal voucher the next sales voucher here sales voucher is used for creation of goods sold transactions either cash base or credit base you can our company sell the goods goods sold transaction entries are created in sales voucher next purchase voucher purchase voucher is used for creation of goods purchase transactions here example purchase goods by cash purchase 10 color tvs at the rate of 20000 each from lg company this type of transaction entries are created in purchase voucher the next one is debit note debit note is used for purchase returns recording of purchase returns purchase returns transaction entries are created in debit note example return goods to rk company like this the next one is 
credit note credit note is used for sales returns our company can sell the goods to the customer any inferior of quality or damage of the product customer is returned to the company such type of transaction entries are created in credit note so when you are <coughs> recorded these are all transaction entries then system is automatically can provide that all the reports you can select cash book bank book day book trading account profit and loss account etc of completion of these three steps if you want any report system is automatically provided you can select day to day book cash book bank book profit and loss account balance sheet etc so these are all we have to cover in the tally erp 9 this in the accounting the syllabus is very ocean is it yeah so we have to given the training on practical oriented training that is the reason this course duration is in our institution two months duration course is there every day one hour lecture class is there you can practice two hours lab practice we have to provide printed material running notes then we have after completion of the course we can given the training about how do we can prepare the resumes interview tips how do you can face that interviews mock interview discussions we have to conduct in the classrooms last one week and you can train for the students how do you can face that interviews in mnc companies and domestic companies if you really impressed please come and join spark software solutions dilshuknagar